Hey guys, today I'm making authentic pasta carbonara, which means absolutely no peas and absolutely no cream. Those are two American no-nos that Italians would say destroy carbonara. So I'm gonna be making two different versions. One is kind of the classic Roman version, the, the version from Lazio, which is basically the region around Rome. And that pasta carbonara, all it has in it is eggs, cheese, and black pepper, and guanciale or pancetta. And then I'm also going to be making another version of carbonara that I actually had when I went to Amalfi, Italy. And I kept having this different version of carbonara and I was trying to figure out what is in this carbonara? It's different than what I had in Rome. And this version actually has whole milk and shallots in it. In addition to the egg, the cheese, and the black pepper, and the guanciale or pancetta. So the two, the difference is the shallots and the whole milk in the Amalfi version, and then none of that in the classic Roman version. So I'm gonna be making both of those for you today so you can see the difference. Very excited for this. So we're gonna start off with our Roman version, and that starts with two eggs. First egg is just gonna be the whole egg, and the second egg is just going to be the yolk. So I'm gonna go over here, crack my egg, and then I'm gonna take that egg white out. And you want part of the egg white in from that whole egg because you want that consistency, you want kind of the creaminess, and that's gonna come from the egg white. The egg yolk is gonna give it a beautiful color, and you want more of the color than the consistency in this. Perfect, we're finally down to the beautiful yolk. Sometimes it takes a little time to get the yolk right. We're gonna stick the yolk right in there, perfect. And then we're gonna bounce on over to the Amalfi version, and this includes just a whole egg, nothing else. Now keep in mind, this recipe, I actually was fortunate enough to sit in on. When I went to the Amalfi Coast, I went to this little boutique restaurant, and this little old grandmother was making carbonara for us, and I was just so obsessed with the recipe that she invited me in the back and we cooked this recipe together. So this is her recipe and it is just phenomenal. Just wanted to share. Okay, so we have our eggs cracked here in two separate bowls for our Roman and our Amalfi version. We're gonna go to the Roman and we're gonna finish adding all of our ingredients. So we have just here some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. You can also use Pecorino cheese. That's really classic. Or you can use Grana Padano, which is Kind of similar to a Parmesan cheese. Uh, it's usually a little bit less expensive though, which is awesome. And then I have here some black pepper. Now I like a lot of black pepper here, and I'm also going to add a little bit more to the top of my pasta. But obviously, do what you like for the amount. Okay. And then we're gonna work on our Amalfi version and finish that off. So that includes some whole milk here, not cream, whole milk. I'm going to add that in. And then we also have some Parmesan Reggiano cheese, same thing. And then we have our black pepper. A lot of black pepper. All right, so the last step here is to just use a whisk and you're gonna whisk your ingredients together. You don't need to you know, really kind of beat this mixture, just kind of mix it together. I find that a whisk works really well to kind of break up the egg. We're gonna see this beautiful, what I call a slurry form, and this is going to be the sauce for our carbonara. Now this is technically raw eggs here, but we're going to pour this into our hot pasta and our hot pancetta mixture. So I don't really worry about the eggs being raw. I don't like eating raw eggs, 
but just the, the heat of the pasta, the heat of the pancetta will just cook off the eggs just enough to make sure that they're not dangerous. Okay, look at these beauties. We have our Roman version here. You can see it's a little bit thicker. All it is is egg, cheese, and black pepper. And then we have here a thinner version that's a little bit more of a sauce, you can see. And this is our Amalfi version with the milk in it. All right, so we're gonna head to the stove, cook up our pancetta, get our pasta going, and get these carbonaras rolling. Let's go. So I have two pots on the stove, and both of them have pancetta in them. They're both dry pans. I didn't add any olive oil or any oil in these at all. I love using pancetta, diced pancetta in this over guanciale just because I find guanciale to be a little bit fatty and a little bit gamier and I really love the saltiness and meatiness of pancetta. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start these pots over medium heat and let the pancetta cook for about five to 10 minutes until it's just starting to crisp up. Okay, our pancetta is sizzling and that means it's pasta time. I'm putting our spaghetti right in our hot water. So the place is all smoky, but our pancetta is all done cooking. You can see here just how beautiful the pancetta is. Yum, yum, yum. It's nice and brown. And this is going to be our Amalfi version with the whole milk. So all I'm gonna do is just add a tiny dash of olive oil. And then I'm gonna add in here some chopped shallots. This is the secret ingredient here. Alrighty, so our shallot and pancetta mixture for our malty version is all yummy and delicious and fabulous and ready for our pasta. So I have here some very hot spaghetti. You want to do this right when the pasta is done boiling and you drain the pasta. I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna add the pasta to pot one. And by the way, my both my burners are on very low heat. And two, from the lowest setting heat, so I'm just gonna even out the pasta here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stir in our pancetta. Again, the burner's on low heat. You don't want to scorch the pasta. I'm going to do the same thing for this mixture. It's very important that the burner's on low because you're going to scorch the egg and it's going to scramble when you add in the egg mixture. So I have the two egg mixtures here. We're going to pour in our first mixture, which is our room, our just egg mixture, egg and cheese. Add that in, and then I'm going to do the same here for our Amalfi version with our milk. Now I'm gonna turn my heat all the way off, leave it off, just stir it in. Okay, we're gonna let it sit on that hot burner just to cook off the egg a little bit, and it's basically ready to go. Good toss, look at how beautiful that is. Here, I wanna show you. Look at how perfect. Each piece of pasta is perfectly coated. I'm gonna leave that, and then we're gonna scooch on over here, and we're just going to toss in, I'm gonna use some tongs. I'm gonna toss in our milk and egg mixture into this carbonara, our Amalfi version. And again, we wanna turn the burner off as soon as you add in that egg mixture because we don't want scrambled eggs. What you're seeing here is not scrambled eggs, it's just the cheese. All right, give this a final stir on each side and we're gonna go plate this. Look at this. Ooh, creamy and fabulous. Whew. It was a little stressful doing both at the same time, but I have both versions here. I have our Rome version, which is just egg. You can see the color of the pasta is actually a little bit more yellow because we are using a lot of egg yolk. 
And then I have here a little bit of a creamier version. This is the Amalfi version and it has some whole milk in it. Yum, yum, yum. I can't wait to try this. We're gonna start with the Rome version here. Ooh, I need it. Shut off. Here we go. Mm. Big bite. I deserve it. Mm. Lightly creamy, salty, just perfect. Simple, not overdone, but just everything you would imagine eating in Italy. It's just phenomenal. I can't wait to bring myself back to the Amalfi Coast now. Eating during the summer when it wasn't so cold out. Okay, here we go. Mm. This version is just a little bit more creamy, a little more cheesy, a little bit more almost delicate. The recipes are up on tastefullygrace.com. Check it out, you will not regret it.